Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Happy Sunday. He's not feeling well. But, you know, a slave driver. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> no, I'm really not. She's got to move it a little slow this morning. Move it a little slow. I'll say hello to everyone. You That'll can, be good. you know, get your coffee and your water. And she did put on her makeup. <laughs> and then we can do this as pee over here. And I'm over here. Here, I'm all discombobulated. I know. <laughs> I'll say hello to everybody. So, be sure to say hello in the chat. If you're just lurking, that's totally fine. But give us a quick little hello there. That way I can say hello back, especially at this point in time in the stream. Lurk away. No problemos. <coughs> Do give the stream a thumbsy upsies. We are getting started. That is very important because it lets everyone know. Yes, she's drinking whiskey. She saw that, um, who was it? Um, Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall. Mm -hmm. So, should be interesting. <laughs> I'm just sipping in a stick. Clear up that crud in the back of my throat so I that really I don't sound so croaky. 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 <laughs> you know. Yeah, can't wait, wait, wait for those comments. The croaky lady. <laughs> <coughs> oh, goodness. All right. Hello to Angela, Ann, Heather, Cindy, Darcy, Dawn, Dana, Dorothy, Estella, Jeanette, JoLynn, Joni, Kelly, Kim. Hi, Kim. I think you were here the other day, but welcome yes, back, I think. Yes, she was. Yes. Uh, we got Julie Torrens, who just popped in there. Hello. Well, good morning. Welcome. Uh, lots of people popping in. Goodness. All right, I'm going to hurry up through this. Leah, Linda, Lisa, Maggie, Mary, and Nadine. Hello. Nightbot. That's our, you know, friendly dude in the chat, so don't worry about him. We got Pandora's Box, which is also Dot. Panka, Sandy, Silver Granny, Grumpy Gnome. That's Lynn. Shannon Green. Hello. Uh, let's see here. Stitching Arc. Hello, Paula. Good morning or afternoon. Susan Anderson. Texture Junkies. That's Sharon. We got Trish Coogan. I guess that probably, oh, Eva is here. And also, I believe Evie would probably be here if Trish is here as well. All right. I know I missed some other people because you guys all started kind of popping in there. Hey, Darcy and Candy, if I didn't say hello to you guys already. Woo! Quite the crew already. Make sure you're giving those thumbsy upsies. Very important. All right, this is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, we are PM Artist Studio. We'll keep it low for her so she doesn't go all froggy on it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to hit the whiskey again. <laughs> is it the good stuff? And she find a, found a pirate cup. <laughs> I know, see this? Isn't this cute? A little <laughs> s bounce, s saber. Mm hmm. Yeah, Gulf Shores. Alabama. Oh. I think somebody brought that back for us because I, I don't think I've been there. Oh, I didn't even see that. Nah, I know. Well, it's it's Texas bourbon. Hey, Texas bourbon whiskey. Garrison Brothers. Wow. And it's mighty fine as far as that goes. Yeah, Brad it. usually keeps some decent stuff around. He does, and he does never drink. So no, we don't it ever. lasts a long time and ages well. <laughs> I just put it in barrels. Yeah, really. <laughs> Be your retirement plan. Seriously. Beer Marta Studio Whiskey. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Okay. Custom mix. Okay, what are we doing today? Well, you know, I just felt like crud All for, day yesterday. for four, four days, actually. Two nights were really bad. I, I didn't, I couldn't sleep. I was coughing. I was miserable. Well, My nose. really, since fri Friday, you've been really rough. Yes. Friday, Saturday, yesterday was rough. Is so, yesterday the day I slept all day? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it's I, felt I, like just four days for I, I, It did. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, on yeah. Thursday it was starting to hit yeah, me. Yeah, I know. But, um, yeah. Remember when she's getting all crazy sneezy thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the baby brought this home. She's had it too. She's and I sort of had it. Children but nobody felt sorry for me. And walking I certainly germ bags. I certainly didn't get to sleep for an entire day. Say. Hmm. Well, I'm old. I'm alive. Now, we will be doing the giveaway today. Because um, it's the last Sunday. Brad was like, don't we do it the last stream? And I think we only did that because of the, um, when we, when we did the, you know, when we were on vacation and stuff. But it's always last Sunday. 
because we like for as many of you guys to be here and I think Sunday kind of tends to be the day that most of you guys can be here more so just because of the time and the day um so we will be doing that here in a little bit got the spinner wheel um those of you that uh don't know what I'm talking about that is the hundred dollar monthly giveaway that we do you can either pick a coupon to our shop or you can get a MasterCard Visa gift card. We, we will send that out to you. The fastest way to do it is the coupon. <laughs> also the easiest for us, but that's okay. <laughs> Want some free stencils. Um, but the way that you do that is you go over there to Makers of Mixed Media and you look up in the little featured area and it explains all the giveaway rules, which is basically you gotta post one of our videos Tell us what inspired you about it, and then you get a double entry when you kind of, you know, say, hey, this is the thing that I made because I was inspired by that. Pretty much everybody gets a double entry. So that's why you'll see the names twice on the wheel. Plus it makes the wheel look more filled yeah, up. Mar yeah, Mar Mariah looks, yeah, she's <laughs> just, the wheel is, is quite the deal. The wheel is quite the deal. Yes. Wheel is quite the deal. Well, first of all, I want to talk about some of my prints that I made. Okay, can I, should I go topside now? Yes, please. Okay, I should go topside. Because I, you know, I had this and I lost my fly. But I want you to see, I re, I, I got him back. The way I did that, you see this outside edge here? Alright, so you can count the number of layers here just by the size of the gel plate. Because... Hey, Carrie. Actually, there was two on that one. Because there's a little residual, so then I put the Venus fly trap on. Then I put the fly on with this outer one. And then pulled... Darcy would like to know if you have eaten anything. No. It's dangerous with the whiskey. Oh, yeah. I had some toast. It'd be really terrible. Well, I'm she I'm just sloshy. trust me. I'm just <laughs> sipping. I'm and I'm really a lightweight on the liquor. In That's the why thing. I'm saying this could be a dangerous. You might have to go get me some crackers or something. Okay. Absorb the alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think that turned out to be a really swell, elegant print. I like it a lot. Hey, Fran. She says you have an expanding gel plate. Well, she uh -huh. put a question mark. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a progression. Now, what was I reaching for here? Uh, sorry. Hey, you see, we got the foam. This is very interesting stuff, this foam. It, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. No, it's, and it, it's not crumbly. Because the stuff that I've had had experience with on this this. Uh, Floral. Floral foam was it was extremely crumbly. Mm -hmm. So I was happy about that. But it's really difficult to get a good mm -hmm. cut. And this is a really sharp knife. I don't know if we should. <laughs> so I you know, I've kind of got I, I have all these drawings. Oh, bugs and poppers, and there's some of my worms. I'm just finding things here as I pick up other things. Oh, she's used the carving, uh, Sharon has used the carving foam from Blick. I didn't even think about that. Hey, Felicia. <coughs> <coughs> I did see the carving foam on Amazon, but it was kind of pricey, and I'm like, I yeah. don't know if I'm that committed. And you know this is an experiment anyway and so, you know who I, wants to I, spend money you could be buying paint with on stuff that you're probably just gonna yeah. blow it off anyway well, I don't know I I'll give it to Izzy she will be very entertained with this stuff well I don't know that she's gonna be able to do anything with oh, she it. can poke holes in it she's happy yeah it's, it's true it, the bar is low <laughs> she, she, oh can I stop that with sticks fantastic <laughs> 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 Oh, can I push my finger into it? Great. <laughs> I think I will go get you some crackers. Okay. Think about that. Now, so, I, I was messing around here doing these drawings. And I was deciding, you know, what what Ooh, it is. Nice, Carrie. What is important to 
communicate the idea of the human figure here? Well, I think I'm going to go with Archipinko's idea that the head was the negative space. Mm -hmm. And these were sort of arms. This is, and I don't know, the torso thing, I don't know. It may come over more here. But it could also just be implied by the space that the... The negative space well, there. Well, and just the structure of the middle, you know, what you see there. You know, when, you, when you're kind of doing this, you know, your, your torso's in there. That's true. So it doesn't have to be it's, that you say, hey, here's the center block. This is the torso. Yes. That That's, you know. Moot point. Now, the problem is, is you have, when you're putting this together, you've got to figure out how it's going to hang together because we're doing this with additive rather than subtractive Oh, process. I want to know about that, Devin. I'm very curious about that. What? So, Ranger has a foam, and I remember I was telling you about it. You heat it up, and you can press things into it, and then it becomes a stamp, and it holds the form. Oh. I want to know, like, how long does it hold it? I mean, you know, Simon, Simon, is it Hurley? Huey. Hurley. Anyway, he's part of the Ranger people. Yeah, cute the, little he, dude. Yeah, the, the young one. <laughs> it looks like he's about 12. Yeah, but he did, he did actually, I think he's, you know, like, 19. Something like that. Um, but yeah, might as well. Might as well be 12. <laughs> anyway, he demonstrates it very well. But then, you know, like, how long did it hold it? Uh, you know, there's things like, I have questions. I don't know where I was. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting day. You were talking about your pieces and your... Ah, yes. Yes, your drawing. Yes, my drawing. I love your drawing. Well, you know... I I've got a whole bunch of them here that I just <laughs> doodled away. Doodled away. So I was working on a reclining woman because oh, I, like I thought, kind of a... well, no, that's her bum. She's lying on her side. I mean, this oh, is okay. kind of her hip. Yeah. She's, you know, my like, bum would be a little. High. An odalesque. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I started on this side, and I thought, well, you know, that's interesting. Oh, Nadine, she says it holds it until you reheat it. Well, something to think about. Yeah. Um, that's more Mariah's area than mine. I, I'm, I'm perfectly happy well, with here my, is my needed thought. eraser. But I got it. I, but here was my thought with it. If you create the impression plates with the texture paste that like we do for using on the gel plate, you could actually press those then into... So you'd have a negative image. And That'd then, be cool. So maybe I shall order some. I, I had it in the cart at one point, and I'm like, I just don't know. Is this gimmicky? Is this going to annoy me? It's, you know. And now my one gripe is I would like bigger sheets that I can cut up into whatever size I want. Not just, I think it comes in like a, it, it, it's like a circle inside of a block or something like that. You guys let me know. But I do think that we need to explore this a little further. I want to know who manufactures well, can you, can it. Can you also. smash them together and make a large one? Can you smash it together? No. Like, I don't think it's a moldable thing. Even though it is heat moldable, it's like it's a... It's a set material. <clears throat> I guess Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going to glue some of these shapes together or... Tape them or? I don't. I don't know yet. I, okay. I'm not there. I, I'm having trouble thinking 3D. Okay, so rectangular prisms and cylinders, and then recto cylinders right. with rounded ends. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so I took some junk mail, and I made this kind of weird little um, rectangular prism that's still hollow. I left it hollow because I will be able to, you yeah. know, stick things in and augment the other whatever a lot better than if I seal that off. I can always seal it off. Yeah. But I can't always. Now, okay, where's my... Oh, here it is. Toilet paper roll. Okay. So this... I created this bend by just cutting out a piece here, matching it up, bending it over, and retaping it. Uh -huh. Same thing here. I'll show you. Thank you, Diane. 
Okay, so this is more junk mail. Scissors. So let's see. If we want this to bend again, do we want it to bend? Yeah, okay. You want to talk about Carmichael and the, you know. Oh yeah, but my second husband was a welder and he was a very good welder. He was, um, they, they wouldn't let him join, he tried to join the uh, army and they wouldn't let him because his skill, he was, he worked as a ship builder, welder in, uh, I didn't know that. I swear there's always something about Carmichael I find out. In, uh, I don't know, down in the port, Louisiana, you know. Yeah. Down there. The Gulf? The Gulf, yeah. <laughs> so. Geography part. And I mean, this is a, when you're, you're cutting, using a cutting torch and doing this on a metal oh. pipe, there's not a lot of wiggle room there. You either get it right or you don't. And you can hey, change the angle of your dangle, you know, just by how big you make the cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you just, Hi, you know, Kathy. tape it up. Now we've got a little tubular. And it's kind of a, like, you know, ah. yeah, because now you're. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Or like a foot. Yeah. That could be a leg right could there. could be a leg. I don't know. I don't know if I'm even going to use this, but I thought this was instructive. I like that. That was very and, smart. And if you don't have the foam, you don't have to give up just because you don't have the foam. See, I like that. Yeah. Then we've got this other little jobber here. Yeah. You know, it could be somebody that had a slightly shorter leg than... It happens. It happens. Or we could bend this so that it's going back into space and this is coming out I into like space. That. You know? And then I've got this little jar. This is made from an envelope. And um, I haven't cut anything out. I think I got a little carried away with how thick I made this. <coughs> well, that's a bummer, Eva. Excuse me. drink water in between my sips of whiskey. <laughs> Maybe we can avert a disaster here. Well, Van, Van's out with Izzy at the park. And Brad is downstairs. I don't know if he's watching or not. Sometimes he, he does. He's been kind of on a break. He's, he has managed two website builds in the last week and a half or so. So he's kind of <laughs> taking some time off. Which rightfully so. Yeah, you know, you, you don't want to wait until you're absolutely, totally burnt out before you stop. Yeah, and, and he's good. And it's not, you know, it's... Okay, so I might want to go ahead and add to this. Very, it's very, very simple. You just take whatever junk mail you've got going here. Start with that edge. Get rid of that stupid... This is my AARP. They keep sending me this crap. And... You know, we had them once. I heard you say this morning, you're like, but they didn't do anything. They didn't. And our present insurance that we have, our car insurance, takes care of everything that they do a lot better. Well, there you go. So, we're using their crap stuff to... Thanks for supplying us with paper. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much. Triple A. <laughs> yeah, but did you say ARP? I did. It okay. wasn't. This I'm is sorry. AAA. It's AAA car. That's know, right, because they didn't. And then us that this one time. was from Sierra Club, and I actually uh, have the rest of it over there that I'm I support Sierra Club. Somebody's got to save the damn forest from the Peoples. paper barons. <laughs> That's what you use their paper to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a cycle. Oh good. Makes me feel a hey, little Joan. less. Okay, so now I think we've got another we've got another leg that's sort of kind of Yeah. Similar. Yeah. This one can be, you know, extended out and I don't know, we might make a knee joint here. I think you're worrying about that too much. What? The just you know what the part is. Well, I can do that if I want to. Well that is true, but I, I don't think that you should get so wrapped up in it. Right, because once again, you just need objects 
that could oh, or no. could not, you know, that, you know, don't have to be anything in particular. Well, this is true. This is true. And this is becoming a bit of a, I don't have a place to hold it. No worries, Delicia. We, we don't what? mind the lurking. Lurking and working. Just make sure you give those thumbsy upsies. And the whole thing is going to be paper mache over anyway. So, all of these little, you know, crinkles and crimps and... Marsha, I want to come hang. She, she does cool stuff. She goes to Zumba. She goes to... Didn't you go to Zumba the other day? Isn't that right? She's going to book club. Did you notice P's necklace? Marsha made that. <coughs> <coughs> Need a little sip? It, it's just... Tickles. It's drainage and tickle. <laughs> drainage and tickle. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, remember, we're kind of coming back around to Archipelago because of those polar. I said, before we start anything else, we've got to at least address this sculpture situation. So, we are sculpting. Well, she's we're sculpting. Su we're, we're sculpting. I'm just being the chatty one. That's what I do. <laughs> I do make things. And I do assist with this sort of thing. But not during the Okay. And we've got this block here, and I don't, hey, you know, I don't know whether to go ahead and just start cutting it up. I'm looking at my drawing over here, and I'm thinking, I don't know. Do I want to, um... Can you press into that foam very well? No. You, okay, you try. Hey, I see that you kind of... It doesn't press into. Now, I think it would probably, if you use something, a sharp instrument... Kind of pre-cut it. Maybe if you did a line... So I bet if you drew a circle on there or, you know, did your outline of whatever it is and then used the exacto and cut into it, then that creates a little thing and it actually probably would hold pretty nicely. I mean, this is meant for flower arranging, so you got to be able to stick something. To poke, poke well, it. they have those little sharp things, don't they? Yes, to, on the end of the thing that they wrap onto which stems. That, geez, that's, that's some work. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I'm. Yes, that is true, too. So, if you're attaching two pieces of the foam, you can use sticks or toothpicks or... Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. Good call, Carrie. And I don't know if it sticks with tape or not. <laughs> hey. At least this is, she is happy about this sculpture business. All right, good. <laughs> well, it does stick. And, oh, yeah. Oh, quite well. Especially on the side where I cut it. Yeah. It's rough. Okay. Up. <laughs> That's good to know. Because that will make seams nice and, and, and whatever. All right. So I've got this piece here and I've already rounded it off. And I've got this other piece. It's not exactly the same. Gretchen says try a serrated knife. I have had one, but um, our serrated knives are sucky. That kind of poop. They don't even cut bread. Okay. <laughs> they don't even do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. They don't. Uh, Plus, it's freaking ancient. Oh, and Diane says they sell foam-safe glue that won't dissolve it. Oh. Well, I don't know that glue will dissolve it. Certain I mean, I glues haven't. would. Like, any of your... I, really, I need my... Uh, I would say anything that is that has, you know, the yucky smells to it, that's going to melt your foam. Because it's got either some kind of acetate or acetate is that right acid no um what, what am i I, I don't of? know you know like nail polish acetone acetone it's got something like that in it you're making me nervous you've been drinking <laughs> i've sipped maybe a tablespoon at the most i know but you got an empty stomach i don't know I'm just worried about you. i love you well, the bandages are... That's true. I know where they're at. Okay. Yeah, no epoxy. Yeah, the E6000 melts styrofoam. Julie uses beacon foam and poster board adhesive. We have some of that. And I think that that's the stuff that Sharon sent us. Now... I noticed the other day because I did use it on my, I used it on my project. 
I did in Dee to glue the, um, because it works well with gluing down the Yupo. Now, it takes a little minute for it to all actually dry up, but. <coughs> Sorry. Because that's one of our, that's one of our stencils, and I glued it down, and I used that beacon stuff. You want, you want to try some of that again? I'm not at the gluing point, Mariah. Oh, Marty. <laughs> You're rushing me. I'm feeling rushed. I'm sorry. This is not a good thing. I know. I see that. Okay. She's so, got we've got that one there. So, this one I down here needs to be slightly longer, and I need to round it off. <clears throat> we did end up making chili. It was quite good. Well, he made it. I say we. I, I didn't do any. It was fantastic. We may have some of that today, in fact. I took a day off. Yeah, it was pretty, um... <laughs> Remember, it had beans in it. <laughs> I want to keep that little negative piece, because that could be really cool someplace else. And even though it's kind of, you know, wimpy here on the edge, by the time I put some tape on that baby, it'll be just fine. All right, I'm going to, even though this isn't exactly the same with I'm, I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to go ahead and go with it yeah I, I don't think that you want to be what you thinking well I was just thinking about making it even more thicker so that this you know it and I don't know that it would make that much difference mm -mm. I wish you'd just go ahead and go with it. And the thing about it is, is if I want to add something to this, I think that this stuff will allow me to do this. Let's just do that. All right. Because remember, we really, the main thing for all of this is to hold it together well enough to then use the gel prints to collage all around it so you won't be seeing any of this well and before that I am definitely going to um, give it a, a oh. layer of right newsprint um, something craft paper yeah whatever something. but to make it all uniformly colored that's <clears throat> one part of it because that helps within the next because it really sucks when you have in the background something that then all of a sudden because if you're using tissue paper yeah. Then it shows through and it sort of messes up the design of things. So, you know, so stuff to consider. And all of those things, even though, you know, if you get to the point and that happens, there's always something you can do to fix it. And that's kind of how I do this. And this is, I think this is, and you know what I can do? Hmm. I could actually cut this in two. Oh, yeah. Then you got two of them. Or is it going to be too thin? I think it may be. I, I'm, I I'm like a little that, concerned. I like that with the. I'm, I'm feeling very good about this. Yeah. It's kind of working with my rectangle here that um, I can fix that onto there somehow. Because mm -hmm. um, this is going to be going like this. This is going to be going like this. And this one down here is going to be going like this. Oh, and Julie says that, um, Julie Torrance says that uh, the Beacon site has a very good blue chart. Love mm -hmm. a good chart, beacon. That the the brand of of that glue that we were talking about. They oh. have a chart. A chart mm -hmm. of glue, and I guess what what probably of the glues that they offer, what to use it for. Ah, well, that's always a good thing. Yeah, I like that. And certainly a good starting point if we wanted to maybe create our own. And you interested in that? I mean, we could all submit, you know, what we know about our favorite glues, and then we can put it together in a chart. I, I'm willing to help with that, but, you know, we can come together as community. <laughs> hey, Ginger. It really does help if you've got, if you place this down flat, rather than trying to cut it up in the air. Does that make sense? You know, don't hold it up in the air. Yeah. Put it down on a solid surface so that you really can get in there. And then when you get to that point, 
to follow your line. Well, or you could just use a marker and mark it out. Well, I could, but that would take all the fun out of it. <laughs> this is a little more suspenseful, <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> all right, well, you know, we got off there a little bit, but that's good enough. Horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> Yes, the collaborative adhesive chart. <laughs> I love it. Oh, good morning. Hey, Larva. I get. I should have put a warning that you know he would be using a knife and drinking whiskey. <laughs> so if you're kind of you know. <laughs> If those two things <coughs> bother you in the least, you should <laughs> do the least bit, bit squimish about that. Uh, Ginger, yes. Um, so, remember, we were doing Archipenko. I don't know, for those of you that may have kind of like... Now, what's... see, I'm just taking the, what I cut off and taping it on. I like that. I don't know that I need to, but I think, you know, it's kind of like making me happy about... The scraps. Scraps. Hey, I think that's fantastic. And like I said, it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, thank you, Julie. And if, you know, if my paper mixture, I'm probably going to go ahead and cover these with tape. Since I know this works really well, and I know that I can very easily go over my tape with whatever I want. Yeah. And it works. Then I think that I'm not going to have to worry about it. I, I'm just going to go with what I use all the time, which is diluted Elmer's glue. <laughs> Your body diet. Um, so, Ginger, back to like what we are doing. We are finally coming back around to to the sculpture part of the whole Archipenko I don't know, series? Yeah. That's what we call it. Series that we're working on. Because remember, the inspiration came from a sculpture. So now we're kind of ending that whole thing with the sculpture. Now, we will get back into, because once the sculpture has been built, we're going to create some, or we, P, will be creating, with my assistance, of course, my guidance and wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> and annoying uh -huh. advice yeah. sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes it's good. It, it, does, it do do doesn't stop, doesn't stop her from me. No. I learned that from her. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you realize cough syrup is like 70% alcohol anyway. Yeah, so you just skip all that other stuff and go to the alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, you know, we're not recommending that for others. Well, this is, I think that this is just, this is going to be mighty fine, mighty mm -hmm. fine. Okay, so we've got the two, uh, these are the, what I consider to be the two most interesting shapes. Uh, yeah. Now, when you get down here to the bottom here, where I would like to do, and I don't, I, I don't really, I don't know if I can make this work. I've already got this one going the wrong way, but maybe I can turn it enough that I'm going to be able to get that shape happen shape. inside of or in the negative yes hopefully that's going to happen there and you know <clears throat> she's skipping those other items i'm skipping a lot of the other items the other thing i have to think about here is i need a base to attach it to because it's not obviously going to stand up on its own well you got a block of foam there have a block of foam mm -hmm. And I could put it like this, and this would be, you know, uh -huh. okay. you, you see motion there. You see motion there. All right, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and... The thing about this is, if you're going for mm -hmm. a more abstracted shape, you Hello, want Shelley. to not be too literal, because then it's just going to look like a really bad representation. 
So you, you have to commit at some I point. I like that. I like it leaning. Because if, if you shove those in there, again, it, it's just, it seems too obvious or too... I think it does too. And I think if it's tilting on the edge there... You kind of, oh. there's a, again, more motion. <laughs> Bless you. You want to take a little... <clears throat> Do you need Kleenex? You have Kleenex over there, don't you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Not sure. I'm, you know, I think the whole idea of one-legged is not too terribly great as far as the stability is concerned. So maybe we need to do something with my, with my, uh, triangular shapes here. Oh, yes. Kind of the feet. Yeah. Now, should I do one of these? Should I make one of these? Uh, I think so, because that, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is, and I, I never make two of them alike, so I, I don't have to worry. For this, it's okay, because this is why we're <coughs> abstract. <laughs> <coughs> much, okay. much like mixed media. <laughs> okay, so options. basically, um, you're just going to take, and however big you want your... Um, Triangle. All right, you know. Can that, you? Oh, yeah. yeah I there you go. Sorry. Awesome. <laughs> and this is not cardstock, but it's heavier than regular paper. Whatever this stuff is that they used here. Oh, I kind of like. Here, Carrie has a good idea. Maybe yep. see, and he's good cake builder skills. I'm telling you. Insert a wooden dowel into the base block as a central support ah. or off center support. That, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. And I do have some of those somewhere. I don't know where they are. Right I, I can get a skewer. Yeah, we have lots of those downstairs. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. Well, Brad was doing all that barbecuing at one point in time. Yeah. He's kind of backed off on the barbecue. Yeah, he didn't do it like all summer long. It was well, hot. it's more, in Texas, it's actually more of a winter sport. <laughs> Fall barbecuing. It is. Because it's so blessed hot. Who wants to stand out there next to something that's really hot? Yeah. It's kind of nice to cuddle up to it, you know, when it's cold. Yeah. Drinking. Okay. So then you just take it apart, and it's kind of a little bit like, you know, origami. You're just getting the peaks and valleys, and you're just, you just wiggle it around until it turns into a triangular prism. Mm -hmm. And... Then try, chop off the parts that don't chop off the parts that don't, what you wanted to don't do. meet with your expectations. <laughs> if you want exactly <coughs> the right, we, we always tell you this ain't the place. <laughs> All right, here, here we go. You got it? Oh, I Sorry. think so. This is a, a little more triangular prism -y, me. -y. There you go. Okay, and then you just the part here. This is kind of. I love that. It carries even a couple of old paintbrushes who outlived their use. We have a few of those that have been, you know, used by Izzy and, and not used for appropriate things. Before, nor washed or... Well, and I, I told her, I said, you can start using my good brushes when you learn how to use them properly. Yeah, she, she's hard on brushes. She's also just, she likes to use her slick paint, which is, you know, like tough paint stuff. And she uses the brush, but then she doesn't clean it up, and then it's just basically a... a well, I don't ever give her anything that I, no. I would care about anyway. She hasn't reached that point. <laughs> I used to do the same thing with my classroom, because the kids would, um, they would buy Crayola, the four big, big, big guys, I don't know what they call them, but yeah. they were, and uh, it came with a brush. And when I noticed that they were using their brushes properly, I would give them a brush, you know, a good brush. They could use a good brush. The minute I saw them wallering it around and abusing it, <laughs> I'd hand them back the other one and say, you know, I guess maybe we can take a little longer here. Huh? We jumped the brush on that one, didn't we? <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I even have what little girl she asked for her birthday. She said she told her mom that she wanted, she wanted. A really good paintbrush. She was tired of those. Um, yeah, the, the cheapies. Yeah, I thought that like was like with cute. the plastic bristles. 
like plastic, <laughs> like you know, hard ones. Although that's well, perfect. Well, actually, for I think you know, really, other than it was so soft that it was hard to get any definition. That was the main problem with the Crayola brush. It did have real bristles. Really? Yeah. I'm, that, those Crayola paints. I mean, I I have paintings. <laughs> And there in Izzy's bedroom, that one painting was done with. Evie says, I have an adult friend that I hide my good brushes from. <laughs> hey, they don't appreciate a brush. That's right. You don't get to use that one. All right, now, you know, it's... And the thing about this is, is you might say, well, it's not even there. That's really not going to be an issue because see what happens here? When you put it on here, that angle of the angle there creates a much nicer... Yes. And look, I, I can like even that too. put it on just like that. I like that. And then we've got another one here we could put. <laughs> I mean, you know. You, it's the, fun. It's, just, it's building blocks for adults. <laughs> and see, that one fits on that side. You have a lot of little pointy things here. <laughs> I was going to say, you need to soften up those. It's, it's looking angry. <laughs> Or very happy. <laughs> <coughs> One or the other. One or the other. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay. I don't know. All right. Now, I don't know that I need this whole thing. This kind of looks like they're going, oh, that was really hot. I don't want to step there anymore. <laughs> Floor's lava. Floor's lava. Do you want I, some sticks? I want to know why I got this on the wrong end. Oh, dad gummit. I'm going to have to take it apart and move it around. You, you got a vision, lady. I'm very happy that you do. Would I don't. you like some sticks? Um, <coughs> <coughs> sticks would probably be good. I shall go get you some sticks. This is kind of interesting. <laughs> From the top view, it's not necessarily at this moment. But. Oh. Well, can... Oh, it's not? Well, of course it's not. <laughs> can they see in the front here? I think. I'm kind of wanting a little bit more motion here, but then that leaves me with this thing sticking up in the air, which I don't know, can we? Okay, and then we've got these guys up here. Yeah, we're just going to have to start making some decisions here on sticking stuff together. I'm just thinking, for stability purposes, that's the way we need to go. Maybe, I don't know. All right. Here, look, one was already short. Yeah, careful. Those are long and very pokey. Long and very pokey. <coughs> oh yes, I Darcy's new um, profile picture is adorable. I agree with that. <laughs> Judy wants to know when Izzy gets her first golden brush. Hey, she got a purple paw last week. Big deal. Yeah, and she's not allowed to use good paint either. No, she's not. She can pick great colors, though. Her color combinations are pretty she, fantastic. She, she really can. And the reason is, is because she, she uses a lot of paint. I didn't bring her any crackers. I didn't know if you guys wanted to, you know, hear her munching away at crackers. I'll feed her after this put her to bed. <coughs> Where's my stick? Are you guys okay with this view? I think I'm all the way out. So. Alright, now. I could switch to Pete, like the front view. I think that, that would probably be better for right now. All right, now how am I going to, all right. 
I already know that. Take this off. And now I don't know what other cameras are. Carefully. All right, hold on, guys. Let's see. Sorry, I can't. There we go. Once I get one, and I want that? this kind of in the middle there. I'll put me up at the top like a little angel. See, that works over both of them. Look at that. A okay. little bit sticking out there. Hey, this is coming along nicely, I think. Oh, Beth. Hi, Beth. She's very concerned about your cough. It's, it's actually getting better. It is getting better. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Notice how much my voice is improving. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to kind of move this out a little. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that way. Okay, I love that. What do y'all think? Now the thing about three dimensions is you want to keep turning it as you're putting it together because obviously you want this to be enjoyed from all sides, right? True that. <laughs> oh, that's gonna look a little phallic. I don't think I like that too much. <clears throat> so this needs to be a girl. <laughs> All right, now I've got to figure out how to put this on here so Hi, that I get the negative space of the head. Okay? Okay. Are you kind of feeling that? I'm loving it, and I'm so glad we did switch the camera thing because it looks, it, uh, this is a great view. I'm going to try to scoot back just a little bit. And I'm sorry, guys, you're getting the, you know, other things and the... This is how I live. Oh. Okay, come on. You've got to stick right there. This doesn't want to stick to the paper. What the deal is? <laughs> it's sticking to the phone, but not the paper. Yeah. Do you want some double-sided tape? I don't think so. Okay. I just need to sort of get it in place so that I can then squish it around can come in with something and stick it. Oh, that might be just the thing I need. See? Mm -hmm. Don't throw your parts away. Alright, that's going to work. I just need to get it. Any parts that you you take off, don't start chucking them in the trash right away. You may need them. It's, and Mariah, I mean, I, I can't tell you the infinitesimally small little pieces that she's used on collages to, to you know, bind a seam together or something. And it's very true. I'm going to move me over the things down here because that stuff's bothering me anyway. Well. All right. So. <laughs> now that's not giving me. <laughs> Devin has started hashtagging. She says, hashtag, hang on to your parts. <laughs> <coughs> I love this. It's kind of like she has a little bit of a skirt. Okay, well now, now you're going oh, up in the air. I may have to air. back out even more. <laughs> oh! Woo! I just don't think that's no, going to work. I like this. I, I like that. And if you want to put something more square in there, I think you can do it either under... Devin's was a little, yeah, just a little bit. It, it, Darcy had hashtagged it as well. Don't throw your parts away. But yeah, hang on to your parts. So, uh, yeah. It's like hang on right. to your hats. So, I want to create a circular here. <laughs> I don't, you know, I just, I don't know that it's all that important. And what, 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 did, what are your thoughts about the... Well, I'm just needing... something in here. Don't know that this is going to be it, but I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Okay. That's kind of good. I like that. <clears throat> 
Well, you can always chop the stick, too, you know. All right. But I do like that. <laughs> you know, and the thing about it is, is you're not going to see that negative space from every angle. Right. Just from some. Okay. I'm really liking this. Now, I, now comes the really yeah. fun part of securing I, it. I think... Oh. Here, all right, before you get started there, start from the most secure areas and work your way into your looser parts. Thank you, Mariah. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. What would I <laughs> ever do without you? <laughs> I, I think that every day. I'm so thankful that you're here so I can take care of you. It's a good thing. That was so funny because a man was saying, he's like, well, I, I went in and checked on her. <coughs> <laughs> and I know he was kind of saying, like, you know, like, shouldn't we be more attentive to you? And I'm like, oh, well, that was good. <laughs> I, I'm not big like, on that. Yeah, I, you leave her alone. Mm -hmm. People asking me how I'm feeling and everything, it just makes me a little bit angry. Yeah, because she feels like it's kind of obvious I, I'm, that she's... Yeah. <laughs> and, and my whole thing is, is I will let you know. Yeah, she will. Now, we may have some really weird little angles here that they're going to be a... Everybody's enjoying the big wide view of all of your... Oh. <laughs> everything. Everything? Mm -hmm. Gosh, this is kind of a reveal. I don't know if I'm comfortable yeah, with that. Yeah, normally it's just in the little, little thing or... <coughs> yeah, the little... Yeah, the little box. But you see, can they see that back there where it says wall prints? Uh, well, no, because that's like right behind you. Ah. Uh. And the sculpture. I'm loving the sculpture. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not hating it. Um, I think it's interesting from more, it's more interesting from some angles than others, but I'm going to try to come in with some other things here. Well, don't, go, don't goo God up. Oh, you just shush it. <laughs> goo -ga. Oh, goodness. I have to have something here too. This this part that's just sticking out here, mm -hmm. it looks stupid. Yeah. So I've got to have something that. Oh, Carrie says you may need to widen her base um, for stability. What do you think? Well, either that or attach it to a rock. She'll put it on a rock. Or maybe put some rocks down at her feet. <laughs> but yes, yeah, good it's call. it's it's ever <laughs> excuse me, so slightly wobbly. Well, we could put another block there. We, on either, yeah, and we have multiples of on either side, and then skewer those, and then it'll widen the base, like you said. Or rocks work. <laughs> she likes rocks. I really didn't know how this was going to go. I, I'm very <laughs> pleased with this. <laughs> I, was, I was unsure. Oh, she just kept asking me and nagging me. And then I'm like, do you need me to come I said, out there? She's like, no, leave me alone. This is going to be how I do everything I do. Mm -hmm. It's just going to come about, and it's going to evolve organically, because that's my process. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do till I do it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I just, I don't want that stick sticking. Hey, Deb. Out there. We are sculpting. Well, peace sculpting. I'm helping. In the way that I do. <laughs> Mariah's offering, you know, <laughs> really good backseat advice. driving advice. <laughs> Across the table, uh, arting. <laughs> Make a little point on there so that it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny because from this angle, it's, it's, it's right in between the... <laughs> well, see, I want it more to hug that. Okay, well, you may want to turn around and look at that view. I don't... Oh, before I Because it's it like down. straight up in the middle. Oh, and a little funny. But yeah. also funny from this angle. <laughs> I, I don't 
don't know that there's any way around this at this point. Like, it is what it is. Well, but it's really great from this view. I've got to have something there. I must have something Oh, Angela, there. we don't know that yet. What? Uh, she says, what, what's its name? Yeah, not until oh, the goodness. very Oh, goodness, it's way too early in yeah. the game to decide that. Yes. Uh, Susan, it is just a uh, regular masking tape. Although, here's the thing. Buy the more expensive masking tape. You will thank yourself in the end. Yes, you There's will. There's nothing worse than sticking some tape down and then, you know, you walk away maybe overnight or whatever and it's all come undone. <laughs> Thursday is splashing over into Sunday. <laughs> or maybe it's just going to be our regular. <laughs> We're all slightly inappropriate, you know. <laughs> Here in the <coughs> Oh, goodness. Sorry. That's Should good. have warned you. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know that I... I mean, I could turn the mic off for a minute. All right. I don't I don't know what's going to happen there, but I don't like the pointy thing. I want that negative hey, space Jim. there. Um, it kind of does have a... You know, like... You know, they create those things at Burning Man. The structures that they burn. Out in the desert. You want your... Um, okay. Good job. That's to say. You want the flyer things. Now, here in, a, here in a moment, let me know when you're at a good point that we can kind of just take a little breather and do the giveaway. Okay. Well, I, actually, you could do that any time now. I, don't know. Well, I know, but everybody isn't really enjoying watching you from this view, and I have to change the camera to our side-by-side -side to put in the, the wheel, because I already had that set up. Oh, oh okay. I, I get you. And I think you're doing really cool stuff, so. Well, I've got a lot of places that are. Um, yeah, it does. It looks like, yeah. Just kind of <laughs> come back from once. Yeah. Kicking butt. Good call, Judy. I'm concerned about that, but I don't know. That may be okay. Judy says, how about naming her Whiskey Woman? Yeah, sometimes you feel that way after you've had some. <laughs> and then later on, she's going to be laying down. <laughs> she kicked it back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and more of like, ugh. <laughs> well, the sticks were brilliant. I love the idea of the sticks. Oh, and Lynn is getting an Aztec vibe with the sculpture so far. Oh. There's some kind of as t you know, like the, oh, and, and I'm sure that there's an actual name for the, the symbol or it, it, it's a, it's more of an architectural kind of thing that they do, like with the rounded, you know what I'm talking about. Not really. It's like the serpent head thing. Oh, 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 now oh. Now she gets it. Quetzalcatl. Oh, like, like Quetzal, that. isn't it in Quetzalcan? Okay, I don't know how much important we know some that's things. going to be. Probably taking a lot more pains with the taping than I really need to. Because once I start with my the paper mache process, you can take care of a lot of yeah. issues then. I feel like you need to get that leg or foot secured down there because you're really wobbly when you start doing stuff at the Oh, there. you think that I should actually secure? I do. Put um, that. I think that'll help you with some of the stuff that you're doing at the top. <laughs> That's funny, Paula. I like that. Okay. Oh, hi. 
Virgin. She's back from, from Africa. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Uh, she's very curious about what we're doing. We are finally getting <laughs> to the Archipanko sculpture. <coughs> and he's not feeling well today. But I'm I mean, really not feel. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm oh, yeah. just coughing like crazy, and I don't... It's um, stuff that's going down my throat, and I can't control it. Yeah. Uh, Eva says it reminds her of the winning designer's fashion on Amazon's Making the Cut. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. That's really nice. Oh, it looks like someone's carrying a broken heart on their back. I love that everybody's kind of seeing different things. See, that's the loveliness of this. And hello, Holly. I like that because it's it, it, it's almost like I, I like that one side where it sort of flares out, and it'll be very interesting to see what you do once you start put because some of that's going to get melded in, right? By bringing strips of paper. Like the oh yes the openings where you see all these openings I'll probably close most of those in mm -hmm. those will just become a form rather than a open yeah. cylinder or whatever mm -hmm. hey Lynn those of you that are coming in please do say hello in the chat um, lurk away that's totally fine but we would love to say hello back give the thumbs the upsies on this stream we very much appreciate it we're going to be doing the giveaway here in just a moment okay I'm, I'm just I'm gonna look at this and while we do the giveaway turn it and see if I can see anything okay don't you do anything while I won't doing do the anything I'll just keep turning it. okay you're gonna go to the side by side I like sure that. That's up and running. I'm going to hope that our wheel of names turns on. There we go. Looky there. Lucky, looky there. So we had, you know, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of you guys that entered for September. If you want to know more about that. Um, here I will drop the I will drop the giveaway information. I think that's the giveaway. Um, so Night Bottle dropped that information in. If you want to click over there, you can see how to enter for October. Because you know, once we have done this, then you'll be entering in for October. But you guys ready to spin that wheel? Let me know in the chat. Go spin that wheel. Spin that wheel, spin that wheel, <laughs> go, go, go. We need Izzy here. She's a really good oh, she cheerleader. Really, she's awesome with the cheerleader. <laughs> is it spinning? Well, of course it's spinning, but I haven't clicked the thing yet. I'm waiting for everybody, you know. All right, I'm going to start spinning. Here we go, here we go. Avert your eyes, it will sort of make you. <laughs> Angela, look at that. There we go. How exciting. Well, all right. Ange Angela? And she's here today. I think she, well, she was earlier. Hopefully she's still here. You're still here, Angela. All right. Let us know if you're here. <laughs> we want to know. We want to know. I'm going to go back to PCAM. There we go. Close that down. And Angela, I have your information, so I will reach out to you unless you want to just let me know if you want a coupon um, or if you want a MasterCard Visa, something or other, you know, full on gift card. All right, basically, what I'm doing now, and I, I know you can't see me doing this, I'm going to turn it around just a minute. And what I will continue doing is see what I did here where I tape these two together. Yeah. Now what I may do here, because this is a lot of area to cover and on this one over here, on this, this particular shape, this negative space here, I'm gonna cover that with something. Well, or I think it might be kind of interesting. So leave, leave yourself the opportunity 
because I think as you do your one coverage layer of craft or newspaper or whatever it is, it might be interesting to leave that open because I, I like that, you know, when you look through it, on this one side you'll be able to see something and you could even do something <coughs> different that, inside that, of there. That will create another triangle mm -hmm. with a shade. You could yes. be right about that. I can always come in and cover. Right. Now these over here, I'm thinking that they're just so small that I don't really think that. But I want yeah. to get a nice edge there and that's not making a nice edge. The thing is, is you just work at this until it does what you want it to do. And don't get frustrated with it because it's not going to just happen the very first rattle out of the box. No, and remember, she's been thinking about this for weeks. <laughs> weeks, literally. Because we started Archipenko. It was last collab, so that was four weeks ago. It doesn't seem quite like that long, but... Hey, Chris. I'm liking that. I, I, li I like... I, I definitely have more favorite sides at this moment in time, but... I, I'm very happy with how you have created this. Good job, Pete. Thank you. Well, I, I knew that it would happen. I wasn't concerned about it at all. But also at the same time, I was like, you know, I, there's no reason for me to rush this. No. Because it's not like I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm retired. I don't, I don't have to show up Monday. <laughs> you know, I, I can. She only has to, you know, deal with me going, so are we ready for that yet? Can we, can we do that? <laughs> now, one thing I do want to kind of point out, I don't know if you're going to leave the area open or not. What? Um, but turn, turn. Okay, right in between there, you have a... Here. Yeah. I like that. I do too. I think that you may even want to try to make it a little wider. because A little wider? Just because whenever you start trying to get things in there might get tricky oh no I can do it with a brush okay. oh worry. that's true you can or you could even bring in you know if you have those like uh, kind of crafty scissor <coughs> or, um, sorry uh, tweezers you can oh, yeah. bring things I, I, I I'm not worried about okay that. I was gonna see if I could make it but it's definitely something as you guys if you are creating things like this keep in mind you know if it's tiny little space you may not be able to get in there and the thing is, as long as you've got a brush that you can get in there, you, you're really, you're okay. So I, I don't, mm -hmm. and, and it is true, you could have a space that is totally too small to do anything with. Now see, I got a little sloppy here. If your tape, if it, it's not, it's not doing what you want it to do, just cut it. Or put some and, more tape and, on top. <laughs> And you know, <laughs> make it make it do what you want it to do. Oh, Carrie says the sculpture reminds her of the uh, is it Duchamp's? Oh, Duchamp. Yes. New descending a staircase painting. Oh yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I I consider that very much a yeah. I think that there's a lot of movement here. I don't necessarily think that it looks totally like anything and I'm happy about that I want it everybody to say oh look I see yada 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 and somebody else says well I see, I don't see that at all I see blah 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 and see I'm liking that from this angle see that yes I, I there's just this cool it's gonna be a fun one because depending on which this is why sculpture and three-dimensional objects are quite interesting yeah, and the thing is, I want, I don't, I want less. Aw, that's very sweet. Judy, Judy says, P's an inspiration and a rock star for creating when under the weather. Thanks for <coughs> persevering through. <coughs> Much love. 
absolutely. I, I again, I don't, I don't, I, I know I sound terrible, but I really don't feel all that terrible. I, I was worried. Yesterday. Okay, now see this right here where that that tape where I taped it on there. It kind of covered that up. Well, I'm going to come over here on this side here, tape it here so it's secure. Then I can cut that tape away that's kind of creating a membrane there, and I'm losing that part of my shape. I like that. And I think may, I may do something with that too. It's not quite as rounded as I and wanted it to And hello, Gayla. Be. I saw you sneaking in there. How are you doing? What did she say? She probably said something flat. <laughs> okay, I need to take this part first. And sometimes you don't have things to hold on to, you know, to really secure it. And I'm not going to take off that whole piece of tape, but I'm just going to clip out. What's power text? Pardon? G Gala says that would look great in power text, so it would look like cast bronze. Is that some kind of paint or... Hey, Patty Dolly. What did she say? I know. She says, hello, all the rumors of my uh, uh, untimely demise are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> it's good to know. And who, who or said, how can we trust that? Who like, said, who's, who's on your who's I want to know who, who that quote is from. I love it. <laughs> well, that was Patty. I know, but she got it from somebody else. It's not. Oh, the, that is the rumors original. of my ultimate untimely. Oh, goodness. All right. Now, um, I'm going to take a piece, and you can't see me doing it. But I want to make this point come up ever so slightly to a really nice point. So all I did was I took tape and wrapped it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing with the one right next to it. I think that these sharp, remember, rounded edges create feelings of, of, of happiness and whatever. Sharp edges create a little bit of, you know, they're dangerous. So we want a little bit of danger here. Yes, so that's what she was saying, like um, that once the structure is all there, then she will do one layer, one coat of either craft paper, I mean- I'll prob probably use, um, yeah. Because we don't get newspaper anymore. I've got newsprint, though. Yes. So I could I could bust out the newsprint. But we always say, we pretty much always save the paper that comes with, like, some of the Amazon shipments and whatever else. When it's that really thin craft. Yes. It's good stuff. It really, it really is. And right now, this may be may seem like it's kind of a picky uni, mm -hmm. but it's 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 really not. This is going to be hard to paper mache, and it's going to. Oh, Mark Twain said that. There you go. I know somebody that I, I should know. I I was going to say. I'm trying to get these a little bit more apart, and I'm thinking I can stick some of this extra stuff down in there so that see I'm getting a negative area there hello Tamari or Tam oh okay I'm gonna write that down because I will forget what is it? The, the stuff that Gayla was talking about. She told me to research. <coughs> she said it's hard to explain. Okay. What you thinking? I'm just 
moving it. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I can see the little tips of the points in there. And it's still, you know, you're, you're still getting the idea if you complete the circle that you get that there. But you're getting interruptions with the triangular prisms. Pat Anderson says, I love the shape that your thang is taking. <laughs> it is, yeah. I think it's coming along quite nicely. All righty. Now, I need, I don't know that this is going to be my, I may have to. Uh, oh, you know what, before, uh, I mean, we saw 45 minutes, but we need to show the. Oh, the stencils. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you know, this is a really good stopping point. I kind of felt that. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking, because I think, I don't know who said it, Carrie, I think, said it, that, you know, I might need a broader base, and I might need to be able to really anchor these properly and what I think I will do since I just got them just taped down they are stuck down in there and I'm hoping I can remove that to, I've got some more blocks over there that haven't been cut mm -hmm. that I could just go ahead and I think that's put that on there because I think that's a great use of them I do too You know, you could even, um, on those blocks, you could round them out a little bit so that way it kind of comes into more of a... Organic. And, right, and then you could almost, which would also be a nice nod to repeating that curvature That's true. at the top. That's true. Good thought. Don't don't forget that one because... Um, okay. Uh, did I see? No, I did not add a base like a step pyramid. See, I see, I like that. You could even do that and then round it out. I think it should be more organic, less, you know, straight, but I mean, obviously it's peace call. Well, you know, we'll just play around with it and I'll save my drawings for my mm -hmm. um, research book back here. I forgot this left over. I don't know that I'm going to need that. But we do have some should I go top side? Do you have your black paper? I, I do, but I, I've got to get my stuff out of here first. Okay. I'm not throwing any of these pieces away mm -hmm. quite yet, even that stick. Well, and what might even be interesting is as you are doing that first craft paper layer, you yeah. could even <coughs> create I could. smaller... And I, you could just... You know, put those right on there. What it, do whatever you want it to do. That's I think that's a that's a great idea. Yeah, I, I'm very pleased with this phone personally. I mean, I haven't messed with it, but I think that you handled it very well. Thank you, Nora. <laughs> You're welcome. <coughs> <clears throat> yes, exactly, Candy. I think that it's going to be cool. Um, and then so like Tuesday, which will be great because this will be like Tweak It Tuesday. We can start or she'll probably. I will probably start. I, I, I can't not do that. And, and also it's, you know, it's, <coughs> it's like we'll show a little. She'll show a little bit of it's, that. It's just exactly the same thing as I did with the heads. Right. That's It's the same know, process. But people liked it. And it's also nice to have that progression of video. Hmm. Somewhat. That too. Yeah, no. Yeah. All right. Just trying to get rid of all this stuff here. All right. So and then I'm going to go top side do a here. Proper, a proper showing. A proper showing. Of, hey, friend, check this out. Okay. So here are orange peels. <laughs> I, she's got the other insides downstairs. Yeah, I do. And I will send that. Like, if you order the orange peels and it's in the shop, I'll drop the links in. Oh, and Carrie, look at this. Oh. I have to think about how to cut this so I get absolutely the most interesting use out of what is here. Mm-hmm. Oh, love it. Yeah, she's like, uh, what did you do with the insides? I'm like, I put them in a little packet. Sorry, just hadn't 
prop them up. But here's what's cool. Now, this is the original size, right? Mm -hmm. But now you get a little one. And what I like about these is that... No, um, these are not the same as... you Because if you, you have your original over there. Where? Somewhere. Because you brought it up here. Well, I did, but I don't know what I did with it. And I went with Fran's name because she she she's like, what's the orange peel thing? So I felt like that was the best because I really wasn't sure what else, how else to describe this. Well, it is a little bit different. So you she took creative license with my design. You made it bigger. Well, there's one slightly smaller. Now that medium size. So there's a seven inch a. So. Yeah. I can't yeah. remember exactly what I did with the whole breakdown of the sizes, but... So, the big one is bigger, mm -hmm. the next size is smaller, and then smaller still. Yeah. But these are really, really lovely things to mess about with, I think. Mm -hmm. I think they create a wonderful, wonderful under background. <laughs> well, you guys, you, you wanted it, so... There it hey, is. Hey, and your sticks, did you know that you can sharpen them in your pencil sharpener? If you want that link, it's actually in the description box below. <laughs> what? To the pencil sharpener. Oh, the pencil sharpener is awesome. I don't know if I've talked about the pencil sharpener before. Not in a while. It has been a while, but, you know, my other pencil sharpener, well, it wasn't configuratively working in the area that it needed and to. And it flickered the we, lights every time. She the lights would back. flicker like crazy. And we kind of wondered if maybe, you know. That, that can't and be good. it was an old. It's still. I still have it. Yeah. Um, I need to set it up. So, But you can't let Izzy go with the pencil sharpener. She would sit there and just sharpen them down to the nub. Yeah. Maybe you should just start giving her the, you know, those. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's feeling. Yeah, I don't want to lose these because I actually want to use them. Okay. Now, I don't know what this is. Oh. Bugs and hoppers. We're not going to do bugs and hoppers today. You still have some to show. I still have some to show. I'm going to put my stick back up there. I might need that stick. <laughs> I don't know. You know All no, right. Don't, now, don't miss can I show this? Uh, you can. I, I mean, it's a, it's a fluke thing. It's a fluke thing, but it, it's a cool fluke thing. Okay. So. We were having all kinds of weird things happening. And one of those yesterday. things is making chirping sounds like birds. But you can see here it started to cut right there, mm -hmm. but it didn't. So these are Fran's um, Mad Mix of Cascading Cogs. I will put the link there. But they don't come like this, nor can I recreate this, nor do I want to. <laughs> this is why she asked if I could show it. <coughs> But it was just a really weird thing because we cut them two up on a sheet. And it was funny because what it cut on one, it didn't cut on the other. So and you've got a positive negative weirdness going on here. I'm going to see if I can't do something with this I on, mean, I, on, the, on the gel plate. We but we're going to we're going to look at the bugs first. We could recreate this. I don't know not why you would necessarily... I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm yeah. going to put the real ink in. Just know that yours don't come like that. <laughs> okay, now Mariah can tell you about these. These are the wasps that lay their eggs in cicadas. Well, they dig a hole, lay their eggs, and then shove a cicada in the hole. And then the larva, you know, when they hatch or whatever. That, you know. Oh, yeah, they eat it from the inside out. There's lots of insects that, that they're, that's their yeah. means of predation. Like, they'll, like, wasps will lay eggs in caterpillars, and then, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, sort it's... Sort of alien, whatever, you know. I look at that. I love it. The, again, these are some more of the poll pollinators. This is my and Mariah's sort of bid for get rid of your lawn and plant natives mm -hmm. so that all of your nice insect population can come back oh, because they if they don't you realize we're talking about yeah bad things and all of this business down here this starts crumbling away the people up at the top of the pyramid are going to fall off 
All right, so there, there's the big mad cascading cogs link. That is one of Fran's designs. We love those very much. Yes, I, I yeah, do. we're getting lots of like, oh. I, I really love it a lot. Okay, and then I'm going to do the- Look at these. Bumblebees. Bees, honey. Now these are the kind of bees that rely on you leaving the leaves because what the leaves do is they make a little roof because they're burrowers. So they will burrow down in, but the leaves sort of insulate the um, their home. It's mm -hmm. like a roof. <laughs> Excuse me. And if somebody else so knows some more about those, <laughs> might have to have another look. Have Cheers. <laughs> okay, so aren't they absolutely adorable? Okay. <laughs> look at their little feet. So I have them set up in the shop. I feel like my chair like keeps scooting down. Dude, it looks like you're lower. I know. Like I sit on it and <laughs> there we go. just keep going. Yeah, I, was like, I feel like a What was happening oh, there? I keep telling you this chair sinks. And I was blaming it on his for a while, but I don't think it is. No, because I had popped it up at the beginning and, <laughs> so and it just <laughs> gradually goes down. Sinking. You might need to tighten up some things. Oh, um, tighten it up. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it's feeling like okay. a little kid at the big table. These are the big fat guys that have trouble flying. Yeah, because they have tiny wings. They have tiny wings and a big fuzzy body. So they come in three I, different sets. I relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> three different sets. So you can either get the bumblebees, the honeybees, or the wasps. Now, the picture that I have in the shop, I have <coughs> the three together in the big if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. It's not something I have it listed as, but let okay. me know. Here's, see, I wrote Bumble, but it was the wrong one. Yeah. This is the honeybee. This is, this is the European honeybee. How do you know that? It was because it was, it's, it's not a, a bee that's oh, indigenous that's right. to America. It came over on boats. <laughs> or planes, or I don't know, something. Gayla says, P, P, P and M, you have such hilarious problems at times. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, bumblebees. Hey, you're supposed to have... Buzzy buzz. Are there five of those? And one stick No, there's only... I, oh, maybe... Yeah, you should have five. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now, here, remember, this one came her, out with one eye. I forgot to tell you guys that, yeah. So, she has the... He's beta, winking at you. She has the beta testing bees. <laughs> I always get the things that, you know, can't sell. <laughs> but I love, I just absolutely love that. That that little Your bee has a winky eye. Time. And he also has a missing stripe. He does. I, I don't and, know, again, I don't know what was going on yesterday. Lots of oh, I got that one out of there. Boy, I'll tell you what, those, you want to make sure that you kind of go over those because even though we do, I say we, Mariah and Brad, punch out the insides, sometimes they get left on there and they can really mess up a print. Mm -hmm. Depending on the size. Oh, buzzy, buzzy, buzz. Okay. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. So there. Bees and wasps. Bees and wasps. Alrighty. I don't know what I'm going to work on next, but I'm very happy to have those completed. That, that was kind of tricky. Alrighty. So, what do we want to do? How much time I have? Uh, yeah, about 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we're going to get some things done in 30 minutes. So, if you want, like, the bigger size, because I was thinking about putting that, the because the big ones are about... What did I make them? Almost five inches tall. I mean, obviously the size width-wise varies, but basically I tried to make them all about five inches tall. I just, you know, let me know. I'm always willing to create a, a size for you guys. I just, first I go with, all right, well, how does P use things? The fly seemed to work really well, and she did like having the one big one, which I was a little bit worried about, but she really did like that. I really did. And I, I was surprised. I think for those of you that really want to use these, especially like if you want to gel print with them and then glue them down, then um, then 
you might want the bigger ones. So. There you go. Just let me know, like, what your ideas are on using them. And I can create a set. Like, if you wanted just... All right, I just want two-inch ones, and I want five of those. I can work that out for you. Don't talk to Brad about those sorts of things. Gets him all fired up. Talk to me. Yeah. He's like, oh, I just, I don't, you know. <laughs> he, he ain't the go-to guy for that kind of combo. Special requests. He's, he's not necessarily a big fan of special requests. Well, especially to, for you guys that are here that show up all the time hanging out with us. I mean, I'm more than willing to work with you and create a set that makes sense for what you guys are using because you hang out with us and we want you to like what it is that you're getting. And I try to take those things into fact, you know, what I know and how people use things, but I don't know. And then I think I am going to make some different flowers, but I would really like to get back on beetles. And I still have friends <coughs> to get, like, spaceships. I was, you know, I was kind of on that space thing there for a bit, and then I lost interest. And then we got on the bees and flies and things. Oh, yeah, the planetary alignment. Celestial. Oh, okay. Celestial. <laughs> planetary, what the hell. Hey, and by the way, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson has a new book out. I, and I'm not getting paid to plug him, but I am very much, I, I, I love me some Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Izzy thinks it's like, she's like, would you stop watching him, mommy? Stop watching him. I told Brad, I was like, I think she's worried. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right, these are down on the naked plate. Why are they down on the naked plate? Because when you're starting out with your bees, it's just the best, or any of it, you know, that doesn't yeah. have paint on it. Naked plate is the best. Mm -hmm. All right, now what I discovered the other day when I was playing around with my um, yes, Lynn I, mushrooms. I'm adding that to my you know I'm moving that one to uh, okay up the list. I don't think I did. I show this one. Um, I think I pulled this after the. Okay, very symmetrical, and what's cool is it has some um, mucky muck going on in the background there. But you can see that little bit of a halo around mm -hmm. it, which is kind of interesting, I think. And it's cool because these are p sort of pinkish. And then you have more white down here, but then the teeth. I think this is a really excellent print. And all of these were printed. We, we got to say, welcome to Lover Lee, Lisa. <gasps> Thank you. Yes, I did see that, and then I got distracted. Sorry. So, yes, oh, welcome, we'll welcome. To, would you like one of these as your Lover Lee print? Yes. You have to tell Signed me. and matted. Okay, so I Ooh, started I off with this one. And I was using lighter. But I think I like the darker because it le gives you that line that I'm not getting in these. Now, I do like these. But I just, I think starting off with the darker color is more better. More better. Okay, I want to talk about my composition here. I was really kind of trying to swarm them in. And I thought, nah, that's... <laughs> I don't really like that. I don't think so I've got them kind of buzzing around here. I've got this one going out, but the reason that's okay is because this guy's coming back in. Right? Yeah, and I don't think honeybees I, or bumblebees swarm. I really, you know, yeah, well, I don't think they do either. Yeah. I need something over here. I just don't know if that's going to be See, it. And that could be the hive. The bumblebees live in hives? No, they kind of... Like you said, live down in no, the... No, these are, these are the ground... Yeah. Oh, this could be burrows. This could be a burrowing thing. Yeah. Thanks, Mariah. Sometimes it's just somebody saying that right thing at the right time. Oh, okay, Lessie. We just became even more friends. What is it? She bought the book, Starry Messenger, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm oh. going to get it on audio because I, I want to just kind of like listen to it at the end of the day or whatever. I love his voice, too, and he's the one that reads it, so there's that. Okay, I don't know. Trans yeah, bumblebees live in holes. Yeah. That's what Brian, yeah. Don't know if this is this transparent iron oxide. I'm going to put some black with it, but I kind of like it that it's sort of 
when you brayer it, you can see there, it kind of honeys out. Honey? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Honey's honey. out. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna... oh, okay. Now let's squirt a little black on there. I think this is black. Oh, it's either black or blue. Whatever. Oh, it's black. <laughs> Here. Because we want that strong outline. We don't really want a shape. We want an outline. And that is way more pink than we need. But remember, we want to get down into mm -hmm. the little creases and crevices. So we might have to, you know, use a little bit more paint than we would normally use. to have that event happen. I think we've got a good coating there. All right, now let's All right, drop those links for both the skulls and the moths into chat. So if you guys want to check any of those out, or you know, you can always just hit the shop and you know, look at things. If you create a cart, like if you go ahead and <coughs> start placing things into your cart and make it towards the end of like the everything but the payment. It will hold your cart and it will actually even email you if you have put in your email address to remind you. It's kind of our way of like, or, or what's available with the system that we have to create like a wish list and remind you if you want to do that. Remember on those little bees, you really need to press and, and do a lot of pushing <laughs> to get all that nice detail. Oh, look at that print. I wish I'd done that on them. But see, I wouldn't have been able to because I, I wouldn't have been able to get that nice stuff to come off. All right, where are we in the thing? Okay, not quite there. One more. And I'm going to try to leave a lot of the mucky muck on the plate and not get it off. But I just want to get more of a definition and more of a line going on here before I start adding more color. So that I can get cool stuff going on with my... Oh yes, I want to go gin and tonic served on the croquet lawn. Yes. Uh um. I would also like that. And then we can read the book together. Sounds like a real day. <laughs> oh, Nadine, welcome to Loverly. Please reach out to me. Um, I'm going to put my email address in the chat. If you would, please email me so that way I know, you know, to send you your print and all of that information and, and your code and get you what you need. But email me because right. I walked downstairs and it's like things didn't happen. Oh, let's get some Ooh, color that? on here. Transparent red oxide. And you see, I just. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> My shirt's black. <laughs> that looks a little. It's a little. Every time you do that, I'm always like, oh. Magenta. Mix in a little. All right, Gail, is it? All right. I think we should plan that. That sounds like a really fab day. Like, we can just hang out, read books, play croquet. That's what she meant. I don't like playing croquet. <laughs> I actually like croquet. Aw, and Judy P. Thanks for a little super chat. Love that. Some super chat monies. You guys are taking care of us today. They probably want me to buy some real cough syrup instead of drinking whiskey. <laughs> Feeling sorry for me. 
We will take it. It's okay, it. I'll take look it. Look at this. This chair has, look, it has scooted down. <laughs> this is like, oh my god. I'm going to get a new chair. <coughs> I, my chair is one of the oldest chairs in the house, and it is still the best. I mean, it looks like crap. <laughs> but it's a good chair. It's a good, good chair. And, <sighs> and, uh, it stays where I want it yes. to stay. Yes. No, it's, it's acrylic paints. Oh, yes, and, and I've got a compliment about saying which paints are what. Um, so if you'll say again what that paint was that you used there, that would be really great. And show the label. Which one was it? So these are fluids. Fluid. And that's why they look more inky. Red iron. And these are golden. And... Quinacridone. All right, so those are the three that she was using. I don't know why it got so bright over there. It's very weird. All right, so we're, what we're doing here is we're building up a very interesting, because some people like to leave gunky stuff on their plate. And I don't, I, I like to oh, I be strategic. And, and um, I, if I want it on there, I want to make it on there. I want to put it on there. I don't want it just to be happenstantual. Happenstantual. I don't think that's a real word. But I like it. <laughs> it's a PM thing. It is. <laughs> this is a lot uh, of that this that is happens over here. Happenstantual. I, I think it's looking really lovely. Shall we take a little peek? Yes, peek it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gala says to keep the chair. She thinks that it's hilarious that I start to just go. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'm like. <laughs> I'm a lot shorter than I was while ago. I like I was kind of. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Just gonna give a bit of a squeeze here. Remember we don't care if this is drying out. Why do we not care? Because we're not going to be pulling. Oh yes. It's quinacridone what? Magenta. Magenta. Turquoise. Thalo and transparent red iron oxide. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> All righty. I think <coughs> we need one more layer. Yes. One more. The yellow. When, when you, I love it when it has a little bit of that, like. Okay. So we need some transparent yellow iron oxide. The more yellowy one. That's the more yellowy one. Yeah, that one. You know, of all the paints I have, I think Good call, I like Heather. Yep. these fluid acrylics. The reason I use them a lot is because, boy, look at that nice little jobber. <laughs> um, a good trinket right there. <laughs> is it gets down in, into those little spaces a lot better because it's very, it's thinner. The really heavy duty ones, they don't so much. Uh, yeah, she, she's she's having a little little whiskey to keep her, her throat, you know, happy. Uh, so, and, yeah, so that stops the tickling mm -hmm. and I don't start coughing and, you know, raising hell. All right, now at this point, I'm kind of not going to, I, I want some of that to halo out there a little mm -hmm. bit. So I'm not taking it up quite as diligently as I would otherwise. But you can see what. It is. Oh. My lift ring is failing. Okay, it's taking me a minute on that, Lisa. I was like, your was lift talking ring about, should is. Should I take that personally? <laughs> I really was. I was like, <laughs> which ring? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. And I'm, not, I'm not having any of the whiskey. Um. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. What? I just yeah, keep getting right. my arm in this over here. But this it is turning off. out to be a really nice piece. I it weighs it. about five pounds. I always try to pull the little bees from a spot that's not their little bitty legs or their little feelers. 
Oh, look at those cute little boogers. Mm -hmm. Now remember, this was a naked plate. And I keep saying that because... You can't get this particular thing to happen. I, I mean, unless... I mean, well, if you tell us if you can. We've not noticed. Come on, honey. <laughs> this is no bubble. That was a bee joke. <laughs> See, he's going over to his little nest over there. I could put some leaves in the background also. Oh, okay. You know, fall leaves. Now. Well, we do have some this leaves. This is stencils. very, we do. Mm -hmm. I also have some leaves that someone sent me. Nice person. Panka. Panka sent me live leaves. Aw, thanks, Fresh. Look at that. That's more super chat. Woohoo! You guys are being really nice to us today. Oh, really? I think it's a it's a sympathy thing, Mariah. Well, maybe you should feeling bad about my that I'm being a, such a trooper. <laughs> I feel like I am too, and I'll tell you what. Yesterday I was going, you know, I've never felt like canceling out, but I, if I feel like this tomorrow, I don't think that this is going to happen. I, I was kind of gearing myself up for that. Oh, that's just lovely. I absolutely love that. Do you have any of your spiral leaves? Because that would look cool in the background there. I don't On your next layer. No, but I got some live leaves, and I know where oh, my live leaves are. Oh, well, yeah, I think Pinka would love that. Okay, well, we've got a little blue mucky muck here. That's not going <laughs> to bother me too much. And see, I say I know that um, where they are, but I'm not sure now. Oh, um, you know what? It might here. actually be underneath, like, underneath the video versus in the chat they may have moved it because i noticed like there's different options they have for because it's not on my chat either and normally it shows up there so i'm thinking it's probably under the video that's my thought it's nowhere they're, they, they've obviously been doing things. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, we're going to try that very similar um, composition. Have a little bit more of this bee coming in here. The reason is, is because I think when you do something that directs people's eye around like this, Why do I have such a hot spot today? Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, that's too big. I really want some of these right here. I don't know how to get to them. There we go. That's better. Did you turn up the brightness on that light? What light? That one over there. I don't know how to do that. Oh. My chair's sinking again. <laughs> I, I would, would if I needed to. And if I knew how to do it. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Just not finding the right leaf here. Oh, wow. D thanks, Devin. Now, see, they're figuring out where, the, I, where was it? Or did it show up once you came back in? Thank you, Devin. Man, they are feeling sorry for you, Pete. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's me in my sinking chair. Because <laughs> I'm down again. Look. It's like... <laughs> Can you feel it happening? Not, no. I mean, it's it's quite gradual, but then I just kind of look up at the thing, and it's like, you know, see my little, my little fluffy bun is, you know, it'll hit the top here, and then all of a sudden it's like, Whoop. Whoop. Boy, <laughs> these are really nice leaves. Thank God. Oh, I appreciate nice. it. <laughs> now, I think these bees are perfect. I oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> Darcy says, hashtag super chat for Mariah to get a new chair. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. <coughs> <sighs> oh. 
Maybe I'll steal these and get her a new one. So she has to break it in. <laughs> no! You can't have my chair. <laughs> she really likes that chair. I really like it. It had... <laughs> Damn it, I've dropped a leaf. Sugar biscuits. <laughs> this is like Thursday. <laughs> Maybe you should have a little whiskey each time. I don't know. It could be a problem, though. What? If we, you know, made that part of the street. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. They're having your whiskey. Oh. Well, <laughs> pooty do. Pooty do. Pooty do. I got that is the perfect leaf there. Really would like a long, slender one there, oh, but maybe yeah, that negative you. area will be okay. Look how nicely these are pressed and everything. What patience. And these are lovely because I'm not even sure. I don't know what kind of leaf this is, but look at that. Panka. And there's some really... And she packaged them so beautifully. Like, I look know. at this. Oops, I'm <laughs> losing a little. There's a... wish I had some more of those. Well, there might be some. Well, there might be, but I don't know how to get them. Oh, I think I have to... <laughs> Break this. Per perplex perplexing packaging. Perplexing packaging. Per <laughs> God knows it doesn't have to be much to perplex me. And watch, there's probably a really easy little opening thing. <laughs> One of the other you know, Mariah, this to packaging. Sometimes that which isn't said <laughs> is just as important as that which is said. Mm -hmm. That being said. Isn't, it isn't. Isn't. Is. Alright, I'm going to remove that little Oh, crapola. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This may not be good. <laughs> Don't know about that. You got your little, little tweezers? Tweezers. This this might be mm -hmm. a not so good idea. You might need it to put down paint before you put down the leaves. But we shall see. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh my God! Look at that briar. Is that oh. right? Oh. Okay. I will put Brad on the uh, on the chair thing because I also I, I like this chair. It's an okay chair. I think this was my chair from downstairs, and then I got a different one. I think what I'm going to do. Let's pull these off, put them, you know, so I can get them back on there relatively quickly. <laughs> Pinka says she has a lot of leaves. No, I think I'm just going to have to leave those. Oh, so then you're going to put down the leaves. Then I'm going to After you later. very meticulously. <laughs> well, you have to work out your... Okay. You have to work out your composition. You can't just be slapping stuff down. Hey, willy, Janet. <laughs> Willy-nilly. They came from Panka. Panka sends very nice nice things. That I, I, we're always... I don't know if that's where that was, but that's no. where it is now. goodness so i'm uh -oh. back up <laughs> uh -oh. oh thanks martha you guys are just too sweet to us today gala would like us to keep the chairs as is <laughs> <laughs> see if i'm getting any impression there for my leaf not really I think you need more paint and i think it'd be drying well, there, that will like kind of, and it's crazy. <laughs> you got two issues going on here. <laughs> Actually, I, I probably have more than that. <laughs> These are the ones that we're just calling out. <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones that leap to mind. Okay, well, my botanical print, printing she leaves usually something. does better than this. Leaves something to be desired. <laughs> Brad also may be leaving my chair as is. <laughs> he says it's kind of funny. It's, it's, <laughs> All right, we're going to try to pull something here using the uh... <laughs> Darcy hashtag mistakes will be made. <laughs> <coughs> oh, <laughs> no worries, no worries, Heather. 
practice prints. Yes. This is the, the, the practice. <laughs> Gala has donated to keep the chair fund. <laughs> Thank you, Gala. Well, Ooh. hey, I kind of like that. I mean, it's... It does kind of represent probably how it all would, you know... I, I don't know that I love it. No? Don't know that. I think what needs to happen here, if you do want your leaves to work, it's it's a lot like when you're doing the stencil, you, you need a little thicker paint down there. It could be right. And, and something that's maybe going to stay open, you got five minutes. So, maybe the fluids aren't the way to go with the leaves. Maybe so. Maybe so. Well, let's try something else. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I've got my green open. And we've got lots of mucky muck on the plate here. Just hoping that leaf comes off. I mean, but it's not any big word. Now, I mean, you can pull it up with tape. Okay, i got to have my jaws. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Super Chat, all that works. Is, as long as you're logged in and it knows who you are, I, I believe that, yeah. They'll take your money. <laughs> YouTube has figured that out. Okay, this is open. Oh, um, Devin wants to know, can you lift the... I think she still wants to get one more layer down before she moves Oh, yeah. I, I don't... I don't... I want, get I'm the really leaves. trying to just get leaves right now. Yeah. Oh. And this is open paint, so I'm going to have a bit more of a opportunity to yeah and it's not going to do the crazing thing so because that was creating a lot of the uh, texture that i really didn't want right noise basically yes oh darcy welcome to love early look at you guys you're just you know it's one of those streams thank you and we'll get you i, I have your information although do email me or message me just to remind me and i'll get you a get you your print I'm going to try over the bees. I don't know if that's going to work. I, I think that's a good idea. But I'm just bound and determined to make this work because I've got these really fabulous leaves here. <laughs> Press them down in there to get a good yeah. impression. Oh, I think they're asking to, you know, stay stay on until you get this finished. Give you the opportunity. Well, thank you. <laughs> I am kind of, you know, working under a handicap today. Yeah, well, that's what yeah, that was mentioned. I'll tell you what. I, I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but I think part of the problem is is I need a higher contrast. Well, I think that leaves toast. Yes, isn't, so she's, you said it, it's nitrogen, so isn't that kind of the stuff that makes y'all giddy? Maybe that could explain some things around here. She says what? there's nitrogen gas in the chair, in the hydraulic part. It could be leaking the gas, which could also make you kind of. Well, uh, this is not, uh, it can't be my excuse because I don't ever put mine up or down. Just <laughs> They're not talking about you. This is about me. Oh. And my chair. Yeah. Oops. Oh, there's that other leaf stuck to my leg oh yeah I was wondering about the leg comment I, I didn't know that that makes more sense Jeez, Louise. okay I don't know ladies and gentlemen I do not know I think we may get some really good bees but I'm not sure we're gonna get any leaves it's one or the other yeah Bees or leaves. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. Well, I like that. We're going to get some fabuloso background here. Because this is going to be a leave it, you know. Yeah. Well, this won't be, there won't be anything happening today. 
stay tuned. And I'm just hoping the paint pulls the leaf off because I can't. <laughs> That's why we always say, Gail, you got to stay till the end. <laughs> just never know. <laughs> hey, Anthony. That's a nice definition. I don't know that one little bee kind of got lost out up there. It's funny how some of them, yeah. And, and that one did have good definition on but I think you lifted it up with one of the Okay, the that's not a bee, that's a... That's a leafy thing that's, that's stuck. That's a leaf, leafy thing that got stuck. Okay, so... Well, I'm worried. So the leafy stuff that got stuck is going to leave a white spot. Probably. But we'll work through that. Because it was down, like, first. Yeah. Or very near. Very near. Could have a little bit of stuff there, but it's probably going to come up on the leaf anyway. Probably. <laughs> it's just like, we're not going to have that. <laughs> Extracting the leaf. Yes, see, Panka says you need more paint and and after the leaves. Because you kind of need them to squish down. Squish in. down, and create their little, you know, take impression of the interest, intricacies. Intricacies, listen to that. Of the leaves, the veins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And all of that, all of that other good stuff. I'm happy on this, though. We will come back on Twinky Tuesday. She will probably have had some layers, hopefully not all of it. Can you leave some of it to show? Oh, I um, may just get tired of it. Of what? Of of doing it. Of the sculpture? Mm-hmm. That's true. You are, you, you need to take lots Once of... Once I figure out how to do something, I'm not particularly interested in doing it again. What does that mean But I'm the telling you, I'm, I'm going to figure this leaf business out. Oh, are we staying on? Am I? No. Well, I'm at she least She would like gonna... to redeem herself in front of you guys. I no, think. I'm not going to because this is going to be a, a, a you know, a, a, pull. a ripen. Oh, okay. Because there isn't any way that I'll, I'll get this off here with. You're just saying the next time Tweaky Tuesday might be tweaking some leaves. <laughs> I, I will figure that out and hopefully not use up all my leaves in the process of. Well, I think you can keep using your leaves. They kind of build up the paint, but... Well, these are kind of fragile. Well, I think they become less fragile with more layers of painting. Oh. That's a thought. All right, guys. Hey, no, no, just a minute. I'm going to turn it over and let everybody see. Oh. <laughs> it's a little murdery. Yes, isn't it? Well, I think we can... Hey, we can do some other things here. We can use this as background. Yeah, and go at it again. Go perhaps. at it again. All right, I like that idea. Because this could be the underground bees. The underground bees. That sounds like a really cool, like, punk rock band or something. Underground bees. Could even be a band name. Let us know. Thank you guys once again for hanging out with us. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe if you haven't done that already. Do thumbsy upsies. That helps us big time. Come back, watch the replay, leave us comments. We very much enjoyed those. If you are coming in, this is the end. Please do, as I said, come back and watch that replay. Otherwise, we will see you for Tweaky Tuesday. Tweaky Tuesday. Bye, guys. Bye.